Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we just got back from seeing the new Shazam movie. Mm. Um, so yeah, we'll just jump straight into our thoughts and what you can expect going in. Um, when seeing the trailers and looking at all the kind of previews and stuff online, we were just thinking it was going to be a very different take, maybe similar to Aquaman, uh, more light-hearted and enjoyable DC universe. For a change. Yeah. <laughs> The comedy in this film fits pretty well. It's used throughout the movie, which actually helps it a lot. So. Yeah, instead of having just like one joke every 45 minutes, like the Batman vs Superman, yeah. and a few throwbacks and stuff, it was pretty consistent. Yeah. Um, so we'll get straight into the story. Mm. So we follow Billy Batson, played by Asher Angel and Zachary Levi. Uh, he becomes Shazam's champion throughout the movie. So, he's granted magical powers of the champion Shazam from the wizard Shazam, who's played by Jimon Hunso, and um, he's looking for someone to take up his role in protecting the Earth from mystical threats. So, around this point in the movie, he's juggling between being a foster kid who's in high school and a superhero. But he's not really a superhero because he's kind of learning, yeah. and that's where his friend Freddie comes in and helps him through his journey. Yeah, it's really a lot of experimenting and kind of mm. seeing what he can do, especially during the first parts of the movie. Yeah. So the villain of the movie is Dr. Thaddeus Sivana. He's played by Mark Strong, who's uh, Merlin in the Kingsman series. Mm. Pretty good series. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, and essentially he's looking to claim the powers of Shazam for himself. Mm. So what we like throughout the movie, I think the humour lands uh, quite frequently throughout the movie. It's definitely very consistent. Um, the jokes are a lot of references to different pop cultures going around. So you've got your Game of Thrones from the trailer, mm. you've got your Fortnite dancing, and you've got your other obviously DC Universe characters just mentioned. And I think mm. they all put it together very well. The pacing through this movie is pretty good. Uh, it's not too slow and it's not too fast. It sits at the same pace throughout the whole movie, which is pretty good. Uh, favorite part of this movie is definitely when Billy is saying Shazam. It's so satisfying. Uh, he does it a couple of times throughout the mm, movie and it's just the effects that it doesn't, come with it. It doesn't get old. No, it doesn't. It's, it's very it's, well done. It's pretty cool. Some of the things we didn't like after seeing the movie, um, I think the villain was very lackluster. You could probably compare it to Ant-Man 2, uh, Ghost, mm. where the villain didn't really do much. Yeah. Um, it had good motivation and kind of goals that he was trying to, from his point of view, of course. Yeah. But um, the way he went about it and the way that he presented himself, it just didn't seem like he was much of a threat, especially mm. when he was fighting uh, Shazam. Um, in the fight scenes as well, the CGI did seem a bit, well, not utilized, but I would say. Um, some of the enemies were the Seven Sins, minus spoiler, mm. and um, most of them were pretty much just grayscale, almost gargoyle-like figures that have been animated, which looked cool, but very kind of bland. And it was very hard to distinguish between the Seven. Yeah. Actually, it was next to impossible. You couldn't tell who the hell was who. You need to pause it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the music in this film was... I don't want to say a letdown, but it just... It just felt like there wasn't enough. Yeah. I feel like between the fight scenes and the epic entrances for superhero movies and stuff, you really should have a good music theme in the background. Yeah. Maybe something from Hans Zimmer. <laughs> it couldn't hurt. A bit. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> Uh, our summary for this movie is it tends to land a lot of the comedy. Uh, it's a very family orientated film, which is a good thing. Uh, but it does lack a bit of the action from recent superhero movies, which is a bit of a letdown. Yeah, uh, especially when you would compare it to obviously some of the Marvel films, which are very action based and, mm. you know. Well, even the prior DC films were a lot more action based. And I'd say Batman vs Superman destroys us in terms of action yeah and how and so it does man of steel kind of yeah yeah, yeah definitely um overall ratings for the film i would uh probably give it out of the six kids three yeah i'd give it 
four Shazams out three, of six. Three Shazams. <laughs> it's worth a watch, definitely. We'll average out at about 3.5 here yeah. out of six. <laughs> it's definitely worth a watch. Good family movie. Yeah. We would definitely recommend watching this film mm. in the cinemas. Um, it was a good experience. Um, it wasn't too packed when we went. No. But uh, it was probably about three quarters full. Yeah. The front uh, usually tends to be missing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let us know what you thought of the review. Uh, let us know what you thought of the movie as well. Um, leave a like, a comment. Be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more movie content, gaming content, entertainment content, anime content. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a good one. Thanks, guys.